on you guys. I know you can do better than that. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Hi. Some of my favorite people are in the room. Oh, all of you are my favorite people. Sorry. God, how can you blow a talk two minutes into it? I don't know. And welcome to everybody who's joining us online today. Um, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy tried and true with thanksgiving. I'll be a living sanctuary for you. How beautiful are those words? How incredibly beautiful. Prepare me to be a sanctuary. So we're not talking about that today, but I just thought it was nice. <laughs> thought I'd throw it in. Let's take half a minute. Let's just say hi to the people next to you. All right, get back in your seats. Oh my, here we go. People are out of their seats. What are we gonna do? Ah. So there are three points in today's talk. Three, three points. I'm doing my best Reverend Don imitation. So the first point is give. The second point is receive. And the third point is Bob. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you a story about the worst, the worst day of my life. The worst. You probably all know it was the day that I had to release midnight back to the universe. I called up two friends. I called up Dana and I called up my friend Allison and said, I need you. I need you to be there. And absolutely no hesitation, none whatsoever. And so the three of us went to the vet and we released midnight back to that amazing universe that gave him to me. And then came the ride home. <clears throat> and I'm in the car and there's no consoling me. There's, you know, we've all had those moments <laughs> where there's just nothing anyone can say or do in that moment you don't want to be there you just this it's mm. so i get a god hit and the god hit is this text holly text holly holly is my neighbor and ask her to bring bob and so from the vet to my house is probably five minutes at the most and she said, yes. And so I get to my house and the car pulls in and all the way at the other side of my front lawn, I see Holly and I see Bob. I open the door and I get out of the car and this is what happens. Bob! <gasps> Come here, Bob. Hi. Hi. Oops, there was a treat. Hi. 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 He's a little confused today. Hi. 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 You have to imagine me on the ground. And you have to imagine that he jumped on me and he leaped on me and he snuggled me and he gave me kisses. Yes, I know. I got my teeth cleaned. Yes. <laughs> And I had that whale, I had that tail wagging on me. Didn't I? Didn't I, Bob? Didn't I? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I got a little of that, didn't I? Yes, I sure did. And um, we can all say it together. He is the cutest dog you've ever seen. <laughs> the pace at which he ran to me 
was unfathomable. The, the way he just simply took over and loved on me like there was no tomorrow. But here's the deal. First of all, I had to be ready to receive it. I had to ask for it. I had to listen to that God voice, and I had to say, okay. And then I had to receive this love. I had to receive that tail wagon. I had to receive those licks. I had to receive that snuggle. And I had to, yeah, yes, scratch. I'm not going to scratch myself. <laughs> but that unconditional, unconditional, Additional love of a pet. How many here have had that happen? Yeah. yeah. Like there's no, there's no trying to negotiate or, oh, that's too much or, oh, you need a bath. Because <laughs> I did shower today, Bob. That unconditional love that I had just released was instantly given back to me. I was reminded. I was reminded that I'm dealing with a universe where everything and anything is possible. And so to have a neighbor, hi Bob, you want to get up? To have a neighbor that heard me, responded to me, and actually had a dog that was in love with me. <laughs> that was great. We're still negotiating. She, she, Holly thinks she owns Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not so sure about that. So, <clears throat> oh, you know what? Let's do something. Pick a partner and try not to pick somebody that you, oh, I don't know, wake up with in the morning. <laughs> so everybody pick a partner. I want to visually see that you were with a partner. Go ahead and take your little circles with you. Pick somebody fun. Mm. Everybody's running for their circles here in the sanctuary. Okay. Does Everybody, is there anybody here who does not have a partner? Raise your hand. <gasps> okay, I see three people with their hands up. <laughs> huh? So, Amy. Ha! <laughs> Amy's like, dang! Dang! I don't want to be with Linda. Come on up. I showered, I don't bite. Okay, everybody have a partner? Yes, yes, yes. Is there anybody here who does not have a partner? Elaine, do you have a partner? Okay, all right. There you go. Okay, now here's what I want you to do. I want you to compliment your partner. And then I want your partner to compliment you. You are just such a gift, the sunnery. Oh my god, when you were like, I want to be in sound. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. You have no idea. Just by walking through the door, you changed this place. Oh. Everywhere you go, you energy, excitement, togetherness, whenever you're around. Thank you. Aww. Hugs are appropriate, you guys. Stay. Oh, oh. Yeah, oh, say, Where's sit. Yeah, here, Amy. <laughs> sit. <laughs> All right, break it up. Break it up. Okay, so here's what I want you to think about. And this is where your circle comes in. Um, and there's pens all over. Out of that compliment, out of a scale of 1 to 10, how much did you believe it? I want you to assign a number to the compliment. And put it in the middle of the circle. 
Did you, did you believe it or did you not? Oh, I guess mine was going to be six. What? Yeah, ten is the most. All right, I want you to stand up if you had of a ten. Oh, wow. Look around. See what coming to this church does? <laughs> you guys just blew my talk, but great. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and sit down. That's amazing. I, there's, <laughs> that's awesome. For those of you who maybe were less than a 10, I want everyone to just sit in that for a minute, wherever you were, whether you were at a 10 or whether you were at a five, because the universe is this dynamic energy. You are a chosen child of God that was picked to be here, you. You, Claire, Dana, you, Jacqueline. We were chosen, we were picked, and we were sent here by the universe. I'm pretty darn sure Bob didn't get in the line that said, I'm going to be a seven when I get there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's like a 27. But think about that for a minute. I want you to think about that energy, who you are, who brought you here, and why? Why do you think you're less than a 10? It's not true. It's not true. Deepak. Chopra, in his book, The Seven Laws of Spiritual Success, they talk about that dynamic exchange and that constant exchange, the constant exchange that we have in the universe. And he talks about receiving is so much harder than giving. Receiving words. I love you, you're the best. Just receiving is so much harder than going, I love you, you're the best. <laughs> isn't that like, that's so much easier to do, isn't it? Don Neff, I love you, you're awesome, your voice is amazing. Judy Blake, you always touch my heart. Oh my God, what a joy to have you on this earth. Tiffany, Neil, oh my God, the stuff you guys do behind the scenes. How lucky are we? <sighs> look at each other, look how lucky we are. Look how lucky we are that these are the people that are in your life. So do it again. I want you to compliment your partner again, knowing that energy knowing who brought you here, understanding that whatever the compliment is, everybody in this room would go, oh yeah, you bet. So do it again, compliment your partner. <laughs> you really moved me. The day you said, I picked my husband. Oh. Hugs. Thank you. you can head back Thank if you'd you. like. A Amy is released. <laughs> How did that go? 
Uh, hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello? <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. Guess shutting that down is a mistake. So, how did that go? Hello? Hello? I need a marching band. Bam, bam, bam. Wow, did you feel the shift of energy in the room? Did you feel that? Do you realize I cannot contain you guys right now? <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. So, what number are you assigning to that compliment? Write it in your circle. And for those of you who are online, I asked someone online to kind of get you guys to do compliments online. Um, so I'm anxious to see the tape um, so that you also participate in this act of giving. Um, and in receiving, if you're online, what I want you to know is that your presence in this room is felt. It truly is. And the fact that we can stand up here and know that this message is going out not only through Anchorage, but throughout Alaska, but throughout the country. Whew. Thank you for letting us give. I hope you received that. Your presence makes a difference. So, how'd we do? How many tens? <laughs> oh, okay. So we might have one or two people who, who aren't at a 10, and I understand that. This is a pretty hard, con uh, hard concept to, to take. So you're a 10. Whew. Whew. But here's another way I want you to look at that. What does that circle represent? Infinity. It represents the universe. Yeah. It represents the universe. And if you're only at an eight or a seven, look at all that energy and love and purpose and meaning that you're letting go. That you're not allowing the universe to give to you because you've opened up your circle. You don't feel you're a 10. You're a less than, and so all of that goes out the window. That really sucks, doesn't it? Do you feel that? Is that what you want? Do you want to be less than a 10? Do you want that somebody can look you in the eyes and give you this heartfelt compliment, something that they truly believe about you. And you stop that energy to come to you. You stop it and you say, no, no, it's too much. It's too much, too much. I'm only a five. I'm only a six or I'm a 22, get out of my way. <laughs> Mm. So I invite you to think about where is it that you're lacking? Are you lacking in love? Are you lacking in joy? Are you lacking in laughter? Where do you feel a little less than? Because you know what Ernest Holmes says, you know what this philosophy says, if you're missing joy, what do you do? Pray. Give joy. You give joy! Claire gets a 10, yes! <laughs> If you're missing joy, then give joy. If you're missing love, then give love, yes. If you're missing some happiness, then give happiness. Whatever it is that you're lacking, give it away and it will come back to you 10, 20, 30 fold. Who has had that experience in life? I sure have. 
for you guys at home, everybody raise their hands. So I hope that you have also raised your hand. It's harder to receive than it is to give. So I have a little assignment that I need your help with this week. And I tried this just to make sure. I'm just going to give you a good path. I literally picked the person in the grocery store that by mere their appearance made me absolutely uncomfortable. I picked the one person that made me want to change to a different lane. <laughs> and I went up to that person and I complimented them. I couldn't even tell if this was a, a female or a male. <laughs> I couldn't tell. They just, you know, there was some anger going on. Uh, I wasn't even sure it was safe to approach them, but I was like, just do it, the universe. Oh my God, I got the biggest smile out of this person. I complimented the earrings. And I went, oh my gosh, those are really cool earrings. This person completely changed before me into a smile and oh my God, thank you. And they, I got them at this place and there's different colors. I had a full conversation with somebody who scared me to death. <laughs> and they didn't scare me to death anymore. They didn't scare me to death anymore because this is one universe. This is one power. You and I are connected. Yes? Am I connected to you, Tiffany? Yes. Oh, my God. I just had to prove it to myself that that was true. So this week, find someone who scares you. OK, is that good advice? <laughs> Let me think about that for a minute. Yes, go find someone who scares you. Find more than one person who scares you. That's what's going on in our nation right now is we are scared. So find that person who scares you and stop. Stop the scare. Start the love. Ignite that dynamic energy. Yes? 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 yes. Does anyone want to share the compliment that they got? Don't make me call on you, <laughs> Susan. <laughs> Well, I have to agree with that. Good one, Kim. She didn't believe that, by the way. Yeah. And she didn't believe, well, she also has the softest hair on the planet. So, Someone else shared their compliment. I will call on you. I was told I had a beautiful voice. Oh, yes. You do. And wow, there's some chairs up here just for you. Who else? One more. Who else wants to share their compliment? I will call on Mr. Naff. I was also told someone that Judy enjoys my wife. Yes. Well, we all enjoy the choir. You guys are awesome. And Bob, I just love the way you love me. Yeah. Um, the rest of the story of the worst day of my life. I invited Holly and her husband Carl to come here today. <gasps> you would have thought <laughs> I was going to baptize them and put them up on a wooden thing. <laughs> There's like no way I was going to get them to walk into this center. They don't, they are not of this faith and they're not of any faith. Uh, I think that they probably get their peace uh, in the woods and walking, doing nature. But there's no way Holly was going to walk through that door, although 
she was happy to give me Bob. <laughs> so the rest of that story goes that every single morning after midnight died, Holly would text me like at 7.30 in the friggin' morning <laughs> to say it's time to walk by. <laughs> we'll be by. You got to get up. It's time to walk Bob. Bob's waiting. Bob's outside. Do you have any more Bob's treats? Bob's at your door. Mind you, I'm in bed. I'm not getting out of bed. I don't have a dog to walk. But I did. I had Bob. And I had a friend and a neighbor who, not knowing anything about what we're talking about, had the sense and the love and the ability to just bug me <laughs> to make sure that I got out of bed that day to make sure that I didn't forget that even though midnight was in a different form, that there were so many other unconditional creatures just waiting to love on me, to give me kisses, to give me hugs, to allow me to scratch the belly. Do you realize that on pets, they never stop you? from giving. They're off. Oh, no, I've had too much. I've had too many treats today. I've been petted too many times today. I've been walked way too many times today. So if you need an example of giving and receiving, look no further than your animals, your pets. Bob is available for rubs, aren't you? But I also invite you to listen to that voice. That small voice that elbowed Holly and made her step forward for me. We've never had a conversation about it. She's not an emotional person, so we don't do emotions. But. She saved my life. She saved my life by listening to the universe and sending me what clearly is the most important thing in her life. I know her husband, but <laughs> Bob, Bob is up there. So, <sighs> That's a talk, isn't it? <laughs> Listen to the voice. Practice your giving. Reach out to someone who scares you. Keep coming here. Love loudly. Give. But most of all, receive. Receive because you are a child of God. Put here for a reason. Namaste. Thank you. And so let us simply <laughs> uh, breathe that in for a minute. Everybody seems like they need a breath. Let's just breathe that in as we go into prayer today, just uh, knowing that we are that one presence, that one power in the universe that runs in through and as everyone everyone not just you not just me but everyone that person that is scary on the street and so as we feel that connection as we feel that dynamic energy not only running through us but all those around us let us simply step into who we were sent here to be which is as simple as keeping your eyes open and loving the people around you. Loving the people 
around you. Now, there are people here today who might be suffering <sighs> some lessness. Maybe, maybe your job isn't going well or you're looking for a job. Maybe, maybe you're not feeling good. Maybe your health is questioning and pushing you and making you make different choices. Maybe financially, there doesn't seem to be enough in the bank this month. But I guarantee you, there's somebody here that sees that, that is willing to reach out and be your friend. I just know that the skill of listening is the skill of giving and receiving. So we just stand in thanksgiving. We stand in gratefulness that we take this in. And that as we leave today, we are all tens. And even those compliments that we didn't quite believe, we're gonna go home today and we're gonna believe them. Because we are tens, because God doesn't make a nine certainly has no idea what seven, six, or five is. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you. So we take this energy, we take this knowingness, we take all of our less than tens and our tens, and we release them back, knowing that it's that energy. It's that love. It's that joy. It's that happiness that comes back to us. We have a job to do and we're ready to do it. Mm. We are blessed. Please help me anchor this by saying, and so it is. Thank you.